place is haunted. You mean the gymnasium storage room? I heard that too. They say that if you go into that place at night, a female ghost appears. She's got a bloody knife in her neck and she says, Come to me. Ew! That's gross! Maybe it's the ghost of Kawamoto. Kawamoto? Oh, you wouldn't know about her since you just transferred. In junior high, she was bullied so much she ended up killing herself. She slit her own throat in that very room. It was all over the news back then. The girls who bullied her got expelled. Come to think of it, Takako, weren't you in her class? I don't really want to talk about it. It's too depressing. I don't have time for people who get bullied. It's not that I approve of what bullies do, but at the same time, I have a hard time feeling sorry for the people who get pushed around. The way I see it, people like that get bullied for a reason. This girl, Amane Kamari, is a good example. Turn off your damn cell phone, Kamari! <laughs> yeah, some of us are trying to learn here. You could at least keep it on vibrate. She's so stupid! How can she call herself Japanese if she can't even use a cell phone? Sheesh! What are you trying to do, Amane? Here. on Hio. With all that jealousy, Kimari is lucky that she hasn't been bullied more. What does Hio can see in that freak? Hmm? Isn't this... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, you freak? Yeah! Stop ignoring us, you stupid... Bitch! Why won't you say anything? Stay in there until you learn some manners, like all night! <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't she fight back? She's just encouraging them. Kawamoto was the same way. She just stood there and smiled, no matter how mean the bullies got. Anyway, it's really none of my business. If Kamori needed my help, she could have asked. I shouldn't go sticking my nose in other people's affairs. But she must have gone home by now, right? She was in the gym. Surely someone would have let her out. I'll just call her to make sure. I'm sure she has her cell phone. Why do I have to do this? And where's security off to? I tried calling, but no one picked up. I don't know why I'm here. She must be gone. <laughs> Kimori? What are you still doing here? Why didn't you call for help? They told me to stay in here all night. So you just do what they say? Jeez, Kimori, are you out of your mind? The reason they keep bullying you is because you let them. You have to stand up for yourself. Thank you. I humbly accept your advice. Stop bowing! I didn't come here to give you advice, Kimori. I just wish you'd show a little backbone. I can't stand people who won't speak their mind. It's not fair to the rest of us if you- What? What's going on? The door won't open! Is someone out there? Kimori, what are you looking at? No, it can't be. Are you really Kawamoto? 
tell me, what is Kawamoto's given name? Huh? Kazuhe! But what does that matter at a time like this? A name is a word of power. They identify our place in the universe. And there are those like me, who can use names to manipulate others. What? What are you talking about? In other words, if I know her name, I can control her spirit. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about! Hyoko? Hello, ladies. Looks like I got here just in time. He was able to open the door? Well, you know the drill. Good luck. Oh yeah? And what if I don't feel like it? Are you going to disobey me? No, no. Of course not, your majesty. What's going on? I don't sense their usual vibe. What happened to the lovey-dovey routine? Let's go. Huh? But what about Hiyakun? So I get stuck doing all the work. Again. Don't worry about him. No mere ghost will get the better of Hiyo. What do you mean? Are you saying Hiyo-kun is a psychic? Like an exorcist or something? Just what's the deal with these two? They seem awfully calm about all this. Not quite. He's just my beast. Her... her beast? That sounds kind of kinky. All right then. Let's get this over with. Bruh! interested in him. It's after one of us. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Nishina, is there any reason why Kawamoto would hold a grudge against you? What? Uh, of course not! I didn't bully her! I admit I didn't go out of my way to help her, but it's not like anyone else did either! Besides, she never asked anyone for help. She killed herself! Did you hear that, Kozue Kawamoto? You have no reason to haunt this place as a ghost. Stop this, Kozue Kawamoto. You can't use logic against a ghost! We have to run! That's odd. The ghost isn't responding. This isn't Kawamoto. That's right. He opened the window. How did you... Easy. The window wasn't locked. Neither was the door to the storage room. And as you can see, the front door is unlocked too. When you think about it, who was the one person who couldn't open any of them? It's all clear now. It seems that she really wants to speak with you. No! I don't want to pick up. It wasn't my fault. Takako Nishina. <gasps> Answer the phone, Takako Nishina. W what's this voice? It's echoing inside my head. It sounds so strange. Listen carefully to the voice. Hear the truth. Hear the truth. What's going on? 
my hand is moving on its own. Why didn't you just talk to me about it? Why did you have to die? You could have come to me! <laughs> this voice... If we had talked about it, I might have been able to help you. It's not... Kawamoto? It seems that you are the one with words that you never got a chance to say. Huh? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That's me! Your sense of responsibility is so strong that all this time you've been blaming yourself for the death of your classmate. And all of that guilt that's been building up inside of you has manifested as a vengeful spirit. Uh, I... I saw that she was in trouble. But I didn't do anything about it. All I had to do was talk to her, be a friend to her. But I was too afraid. And ever since, I've been lying to myself, blaming Kawamoto for not asking me for help. I hate people who get bullied. But the one I hate the most is... I'm such a coward. I'm such a coward. Now you... Now you yes! Yes! Here, stop her. Hell no! You dare disobey me at a time like this? What can I say? I'm starving. I let him feed off my life force. You could say he's like my dog. No, this, this can't be for real. Blaming yourself won't bring her back to life. But even if you can't forgive yourself, there are things I must ask you to forget. You will forget everything that has happened. But you came here to help me tonight. And I want you to know that I am grateful. Your kindness means a lot to me. Kemori! Look at that idiot! Oh my god, she still hasn't figured it out? Uh-oh, she's being bullied again. Let me see that, Kimori. I'll show you how to use it. Takako? <laughs> Thank you. I'd like that. <laughs> 